Three weeks ago, I began fermenting these juices. I ran into a few problems, which we will discuss, but first, let's taste them. First is grape. This was the first batch I made and it gave me the most problems. Even though I had the cap loose, it overflowed and then the sugar dried making a seal and then it built a lot of pressure and then exploded. What did I learn? Don't fill it up so much and maybe look into trying an airlock next time. Details in the description. Let's smell it. It smells like some wines that I've actually bought in my life. Let's taste it. This tastes exactly 100% like some cheap wine that I've bought at the store. First wine is a success. Second batch, Cran Raspberry. This jug got kind of weird on the top. I don't know what that is. This one tastes like it has less alcohol. My guess is maybe the yeast died. Maybe that's what that film was at the top of the jug. It tastes fine, but it doesn't really taste like alcohol. So, I don't know. Eventually, I'll have to get an alcohol tester. Next batch is apple. Can't really smell anything. Uh, my least favorite so far. It tastes kind of like an old English, like a malt liquor with a little bit of apple flavor. So, so far, not my favorite taste, but this batch probably turned out the best because the jug didn't explode. And there was no weird film on the jug. Moving on, cranberry watermelon. Can't really smell this one. Maybe that's a me problem. I don't know if it's the apple from the previous taste, but this one also kind of gives me a malt liquor vibe. So again, not my favorite. Kind of weird that my two favorite flavors are the two jugs that exploded. Maybe you know, maybe they didn't ferment barely at all. Maybe that's why I like them. We're gonna have to try this again. But what will we improve? First thing, next batch, I'm going to fill the bottles about this high. These two got filled higher, and that's why we ran into some problems with them overflowing. Second issue is the yeast. I used regular active dry yeast, like for bread. Next time, I'm either going to use distiller's yeast or wine yeast because I've been reading, it will give me a higher alcohol percentage, most likely. Final improvement, instead of just putting the cap on barely like that, I feel like I'm just inviting mold or germs, so I'm going to invest in some airlocks. They're only like $2 each, so why not? A link to the airlocks will be in the description below. Also, a link to the last video where I actually showed you guys how I made this. Check that out if you haven't seen it. And for now, I'm gonna try again, and I will see you guys in three weeks with uh, our second run, I guess. If you guys noticed anything that I'm missing, I know some of you guys have done this before, please let me know in a comment below. Kuna Matata. Let's go!